setting up APRS, High Position Mobile. Push and hold down this one. Push APRS, My Position 26, GPS, back, 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 and that's set to GPS. Tip check time zone setting config free time zone UTC you may want to change it to plus one hour note if a fixed station see the end of my video for manual position setup set in your station call sign press this one Touch APRS, select number 23, call sign, key in your call sign. Uh, mine is m 3 oi on home base, so I'll just leave it at that. But you can put minus 9 mobile, minus 7 uh, for a mobile handy. I'll click back because mine's already in there. That's how you put your call sign in. Selecting the symbol for your station. Press and hold this one. APRS again. Touch. Select and touch the 28. There you got little car number one, house, user. What you do there is touch that one. Right, if you want the car one, touch that one. And with the top dial you can change that to a canoe or a, an eyeball or what you like basically mine's um, home base um, click that, push that in to come away from that mine's home base so that's how you change your icon for your symbol Set it in the APRS build rate. It's actually set, the default set is 1200 BPS, but just to check it, press and hold this one. Touch a data, number three. There we are, 1200, 1200, that's correct anyway, so we go back. So it's got to be set at 1200. Activating the APRS, i.e. switch the modem on. Press this one again. APRS. And you want number five for this one. Turn the dial. Number five. Mine's already on. Push it on, off, on, off. You want it on. Set it in the APRS frequency in band B. Uh, default, factory default is fixed on band B, but we'll check, make sure it's all okay. So band B is this bottom one. Put it in VFO. Mine's already on it, so I'll come out again for a minute. Right, hold this one down. Click data. Select number two. And we've got band B, band B, fix, fix. So that's what it is for that band, for that frequency. That would be VFO, then you need 144800. That's the mostly used one around this area. Tip, beacon bells sounds, sounds on or off. The APRS, when a signal comes through, it makes these bib noises. It can drive you nuts after a while. You can switch them on and off. If you go into um, 
APRS, push that one, okay, back to APRS. Here you want number nine, APRS ringer. Click that one. Now you can have the beacon on and off. So when you TX, makes a beep. RX makes a beep. TX meshes, beep. RX meshes, beep. Packet called ringer. So I've got mine at the moment switched off. So on, off, on, off. Because uh, it drives me mad because I'm home base here, blip, blip, blip all the time. But that's how you switch those beepy noises on and off. Check in downloaded beacons. Momentary push F key. S list and you've got a list of your beacons. Okay. Um, if you want S list back down here, I don't want the scope, so I hold the scope down, keep it held down, and then touch the S list, then touch it again, and you've got it back to where you want it down here for, for quickness. GPS info, you press this one, this one little click, and it'll give you the compass reading. One more click, GPS info, L. Now you can change it in settings by holding that down, go into display, and it's number one, display select. There you can change all those around. You can have the clock. So if we put the clock on, go back. So now when I touch that one, I get the compass and the clock, and now the GPS info. So that's how you change the settings. Finally, transmitting APRS beacon. Press the F key and then press Beacon TX to transmit. F key, come back out. Transmitting from the station list or Beacon Details screen. Display the station list. Select the station you want to do. Press this one. Beacon TX. Send in APRS beacon automatically. Press the F key. Moment tree. Touch the beacon. And you see a little round icon come up here. That's beacon on, beacon off. Up, push the F key, or you can go into settings, or best to go into settings. So that's display, go down, APRS. You want number 15? Oh, it's on 15 anyway. Beacon TX, auto, on, back, back, back. Yeah, it's on. So if I switch it off. Here, that's off. Off, on. So that's how you do that. Setting the APRS beacon automatic transmission intervals. Press and hold display. APRS want number 15 TX then you want intervals you can have always intervals here uh, mine's on 5 minutes but you can have it uh, 30 seconds 1 minute and that's the intervals
using Smart Beaconing. Press and hold down Display, APRS, APRS. My position, well mine's manual because I'm home base, we need to change that to GPS. Back. Press Display, APRS. Looking for number 30. Position, no, 30, here we go. Type 1, 5 mile hour, 70 mile hour. You can change the, the different speeds here for smart beaconing. Go back. Press the F key. Beacon. A little round circle, right at the bit in the middle, I think you're fine. Not 100% sure, it's not all that well up on this. And that's now on Smart Beacon. Attaching status text to a beacon. Press this one. APRS, got number 14. Mine have already got in mine, Barry Home. If you want to change that, or want to go into number two, say, put the text. none you can get in there what you want to put Barry home or whatever what and enter then you can select text 2 here text 3 text 4 mine is obviously text 1 because I've already done Barry home selecting the position comment Press and hold that one. APRS. This one you want 29. Mine's in service. You can change those. In service, special, return, custom, blah blah blah. You can change that as you want, but mine's in service. Check in APRS messages. Momentary press F key, touch MSG, touch the message. That's how you check the messages. Send in an APRS message. First push. The F key, quick touch, message. I've only got two on my screen at the moment for tests. There's G3 OJZ minus four. So we'll send the message to him at the moment. So it's edit message. There's this call sign at the top. You need to key in there your message. So it'll be edit text. I'll put in there test enter so as it meshes to send the G4OJZ4 and then click meshes TX um, if you're sending a, a message to uh, another station which you know the call sign and the minus 7 bit or 4 or whatever it is you can edit the call and you can key in there call sign. I put my uh, my call sign in for my handset. Which is M three O Y I. The minus is already in there, so you go forward, and it's a seven of mine. Enter. Right, so I can send that message text to my handset. Manual position in APRS. 
The latitude and longitude of your station can be entered when not using the GPS function. This may be necessary when the GPS satellites cannot be acquired or the radio is used in a fixed location. Type in your address into Google Maps. Web address on the screen now. This should show your location. Right click the red icon next to your address and click what's here. In the upper right corner a picture will appear and the last line will have a number like number on this screen now. Go to web address on the screen now to convert the GPS coordinates to what the radio wants to use. Paste the number from that into the enter coordinates box. Click convert and map. Use the numbers in the GPS line, it should look like this in the numbers on the screen. Put the latitude and longitude, press this one, hold it in, go to APRS, you want number 27, my position, and then key in latitude and longitude in there, and that's um, how I did mine because I'm home base and then obviously my position set changing GPS to manual which mine's on manual anyway and that's the manual coordinates put in